My name is Danny, and I want to travel the world. There are 196 countries, seven continents. It should be easy enough, right? When I was looking for study abroad programs, I scrolled past one called Global May Hungry, immediately skipped it because, hey, there's no Eiffel Tower in Hungary. In this moment, it hit me. I shouldn't be looking for places that everyone travels to. I have the rest of my life to visit these places. Step has given me an opportunity for a transformational experience, and I'm going to travel somewhere I can't find on a map. I applied for the Hungry program, and a month later, I booked my flight to Budapest. In the Global May Hungry program, I had the opportunity to live in Budapest, Hungary for a month and travel to Warsaw, Poland, and Bratislava, Slovakia. After the program, five of my friends and I traveled to Vienna, Prague, Berlin, and Dublin. The main focus of my program was to learn about the media in Hungary and how it relates to Hungarian culture. While in Hungary, we toured the national television studio, an underground radio station, and a newspaper headquarters. When I tell people about my trip, we usually talk about the Hungarian food, like goulash, langosh, chicken paprikash, and cold fruit soup. I tell them about eating pierogies in Poland, wiener schnitzel in Vienna, bratwurst in Germany, and fish and chips in Ireland. Or I'll tell them about the little town of Sentendre, or the clear waters of Lake Balaton. I try to explain the view of watching the sunset from Gellert Hill or looking down on Parliament from the Castle District. I describe to them the serenity of the Gardens of Vienna and about walking on the Charles Bridge and writing on the John Lennon Wall in Prague. I explain to them the size of the Brandenburg Gate and the Berlin Wall. I try to describe the injustices from the Saxon House and concentration camp, and I tell them about the quaint streets of Dublin and the breathtaking cliffs of Moor. However, the part I have trouble explaining to people is how this experience has affected me. I was dropped into a country with 25 unfamiliar people, I didn't speak the language, and I did not know what to expect. I was forced to start from the basics. I decided to be impulsive and trust my instincts. This was extremely hard to do because I'm an over-planner, over-analyzer, and over-worrier. But once I achieved this, it allowed me to fully enjoy my time abroad. I only had 30 days in Hungary, and I wanted to make them count. I didn't have time to waste worrying about what I was going to wear or checking in on Facebook. This taught me to relax and live in the moment. It taught me to take risks and be spontaneous. Overall, it taught me the importance of being happy. Towards the end of my trip, I realized I'd be returning home shortly. I was going home to Pittsburgh, where I lived for my entire life. I realized I saw more of Budapest in two weeks than I saw of Pittsburgh in 20 years. Why didn't I see the opportunities I had right in front of me? I realized I had a chance to study abroad, and I have a year and a half left at THE Ohio State University. Every moment I have is precious. It is not worth it to spend a moment of my time unhappy. I will seek adventure in my everyday experiences. The point of my study abroad trip was to learn about Hungarian culture, but I ended up learning about myself.